season here as we begin this journey. Uh, week one, uh, really happy with a, a lot of things, uh, offense, defense, special teams, effort, energy, um, you know, competing, obviously a huge turnover right off the jump. Uh, defensive line was disruptive on the reverse pass. Uh, team that comes up with a big play, uh, we're able to push it in the end zone on the next play with Jalen. Um, you know, I thought there was uh, a lot to be really excited about in all three phases of the game, early in the game. Um, so things that we obviously got to clean up here too as we get ready for a big one next week. So with that, I'll open it up. Questions, <clears throat> David Oven and David Pascal. Uh, Josh, what did you make out of Hendon's performance tonight? What did you see from him? Uh, really efficient, uh, in command, control, um, <clears throat> our tempo, um, you know, run game, uh, decisions, checks, pass game, same thing. Um, you know, structurally, uh, some things that we had game plan for, some that we hadn't. Uh, the adjustments on the sideline, uh, he handled in a really good way. I just thought he was in complete command of, of the football game. And, <coughs> you know, had <coughs> before I go back and watch it, another one missed throw over the middle, but other than that, it was extremely accurate on that long. <coughs> Josh, you, you mentioned the crowd, but what does it say that there were 8,000 more fans here tonight than there were for, for last year's season? Uh, ho hopefully there's a, a ton of belief, optimism, and, and uh, excitement in this Toronto pro program. I don't say ho hopefully. Uh, there is, um, and uh, you can feel it. So um, we appreciate that. Our program, uh, coaches and players, the, the effort that's gone in to getting to this point, we appreciate our fans uh, you know, backing us up and, and coming out in a big way. Front row, Mike, <laughs> then Jimmy. Josh, you talked about wanting more wide receivers to, to get in the mix. You played a lot, especially early. How pleased were you with that? And what has allowed you to have more guys ready at the start of this season and last season? Uh, <clears throat> guys have proven that, that they've earned the right to have more opportunities uh, than we were a year ago. Year one, uh, last year, week one, and we were still finding out a lot uh, about our football team. We are this year, too, but uh, there's a lot more knowns. And, a year into it, there's more guys that understand uh, offensively what we're doing, uh, the why behind it, but understanding how to execute and, and operate efficiently. There's a lot that goes into to the tempo that we, that we run with. Um, we have the young guys that uh, you know came in mid-year that um, you know have proven and, and earned the right. We are a deeper football team than we were a year ago. There's going to be a lot of things that we need to correct. Uh, you know, going back and watching this football game. I thought our, our young guys on defense uh, did a really nice job. Uh, you look at the end of the third quarter, beginning of the fourth, I, I thought they you know, functioned and operated and, and competed in a really positive way. <clears throat> With Joe Milton, he's 8 out of 9, he throws a touchdown pass. He looked really sharp. How encouraging was it to see him perform that way? Yeah, really. Um, yeah. You guys know that we felt like he has grown uh, you know, from, the, from the time that he got back in January. Um, you know, much like Mike Hendon has, you know, uh, we felt like they progressed in, in each of them in their own way. But uh, I feel like, you know, Joe <clears throat> tonight um, showed some of the things that, that uh, we had seen during the course of training camp, which was extremely positive to see. There's going to be things that, that he's going to need to continue to improve upon coming out of this one, too. Adam in the middle, then the West. Josh, what's your sense of stability on this team right now, of knowing which guys have certain roles, what your team identity is, maybe even compared to a year ago? We know more about our football team than we did a year ago. We've you know, been through an entire season. Uh, guys are in year two. Uh, we've seen them compete in practice and on the field more, so there's more knowns in, in that way. Roles are going to change throughout the course of the season. This, this is a physical football our physical game, right? Uh, injuries happen. Uh, you got to be ready to, to take advantage of your opportunity, no matter where you are. You're the one, the two, the three, the four, the five. It doesn't matter. You got to keep pushing and competing. That was the message to our team during the course of, of training camp. It was the message going into this week. Um, it will be the message as, as we uh, we get back in the building on Saturday with our players. Josh, no, Tamari McDonald was a name that got mentioned a lot in the offseason about how much progression he had made and you know holds off. You know gets the gets the job there coming out of camp. First play of the game gets a pick. What do you think about sort of his offseason and how good is it to see him rewarded? Yeah, uh, young guy a year ago that played a ton of special teams. Uh, you know, the way Theo played didn't get a ton of opportunities at the star position. <clears throat> played in such a great way, gained confidence, so mature in the way that he's competed. A different person <clears throat> than he was a, a year ago at this time. And, and <clears throat> excuse me, um, you know, it was 
great to see him start the ball game the way that he did because of what he's done leading up to it, and, and uh, no surprise in, in that way. Uh, I'm gonna go back and watch the tape, but um, you know I thought he played you know well at the at the defense start from the position there. To the middle, Eric then Patrick. Josh, how would you evaluate the run game? Uh, as far as Small, Jalen Ryan, and some of those young guys in the second half, and Dylan Samson and Justin Williams. Thomas. Yeah, I, I haven't even looked at the, the stat sheet fully here. Um, obviously, the, the turnover late, right? The mesh, young guys got to get right on, on that really quickly. And um, <clears throat> we're going to need guys to, to play that were playing late. So uh, we got to correct that. Uh, I thought overall, um, you know, having bodies and, and running, you know, efficiently, thought we did that for, for most of the night. There's some things that, that we could clean up. and. Uh, tough guys with the ball in their hands did a good job of running physical, finishing plus two. Um, you know, Dylan Sampson, uh, it's good to see him go out there and perform and execute the way that we really anticipate him to. Um, Jabari and, and Jabari and, and Jalen, I thought, did a really nice job in the course of the, the evening. Coach, with, with going on with, with Jalen, obviously he didn't get too much work in preseason. Was a good coach, was it to get him out? Some work tonight. Much needed, uh, to be honest. It's really the first contact that he's had, um, besides just some some drills where we tried to get a little bit of that during the course of this week and, and lead up to to the game. And, and so, you know, the ball security piece is, is obviously something that you're concerned about. It came out tonight. Um, I thought he did run physical and, and uh, ran well the rest of the evening. Though. Rob, coach, just operations, tempo, six penalties, and like happy with how fast you're moving and. How, how they operated on yeah, I, th I thought you know what we did uh, tonight when we were playing with tempo. I thought we handled that in a, in a really good way. Um, I don't think there were any false starts, procedures. Um, you know, we got our cleats on the ground, we got set, and, and we came off the football. Uh, that was good to see. Uh, a week from now, you know, there's going to be crowd noise and, and some things that we got to battle. Uh, we got to continue to play that way and, and play ahead of the chains. Uh, we got to be a smart football team. You know, that's been the challenge. To our football team, um, I thought penalty-wise, we were relatively clean for most of the night. There's some things that um, didn't get called that uh, you know just we need to be smart and make sure we don't hurt our football team. Al in Austin. Coach, what was your plan against our big running back that you shut him down? Yeah, I thought our guys did a really good job of being disruptive uh, up front. Uh, we controlled the edges uh, all night long, and um, you know we were able to create some penetration, make things bounce, and not let them get started um, vertically in, in their run game. What do you think you learned about Carol Mincy tonight? Um, and what, kind of assess what, <coughs> what you thought you got out of he and JJ. And then, you know, for a guy like Brew, who's not played in a couple of years, to get the start and, you know, have all probably yeah. the emotions that he had, um, what, what was the overall impression? Yeah, I thought Brew, like, it being uh, the first ball game in his first year in this offense, uh, he didn't know the same thing. Yeah, he played really clean and, uh, you know, functioned and operated really well within our tempo. Um, you know, I thought he showed some things as far as the ball in his hand, being able to be physical after um, contact, and, and uh, that's one of the things that, that we anticipated with him. It was good to see uh, him performing at a really high level. Uh, you know, somebody asked the question. You know, we had a bunch of whiteouts that, that did some things tonight that uh, were really, uh, really positive. What about what about Mincy and Crawford? Yeah, um, the biggest thing for both of those guys is it didn't matter who was in. Um, he didn't notice. Uh, any issues. Um, uh, I thought price protection, they were good. Um, we were really pretty clean all night long. I thought in the run game, uh, they did a nice job of creating some movement, too. Jimmy? Juwan Mitchell, what tipped him out and when you think he might be back? Yeah, I just wasn't able to go in this one. Um, we'll reevaluate when, uh, when we get to, to next week. D1, the same thing. Yeah, Josh, Joseph's making, making a couple plays there. Uh, does he distinguish himself a little bit from the young guys, or what do you think you can get out of him this year? Anticipate uh, him playing at a really high level. Um, I believe that that's going to happen for James, too. Um, I think we have the ability to, uh, to affect the quarterback and rush the passer with those guys. Uh, they can play on normal downs as, as well. They're only going to continue to get better. Um, but uh, that position, you know, B.Y. Roman, the two young guys, um, were a lot deeper. That's a, a position that's you know, we're drastically different than we were a year ago. <clears throat> Any other questions for Coach? Vince? Josh, how do you handle the extra couple of days before next Saturday? 
Yeah, um, you know, players would be in the building if they were on travel squad, make sure medically um, they would come out of this one the, the right way, just check in on them. They got class tomorrow. Um, the coaches, the majority of them will be out uh, recruiting, uh, including myself. And then Saturday morning, we're back in the building. Staff will watch it uh, together for the first time. Obviously, everybody will, will watch it tomorrow as they get out on the road recruiting, uh, flying, whatever it might be. And, and then uh, our players will be in Saturday when we're able to tie a ribbon on this one and, and move on to the national. All right, thank you. We will have players shortly. Players will include Hinden Hook.